Thank you, Brother Leo Muhammad. And if I could end this awesome, awesome and very heavy, weighty interview with you with two very brief questions. The first being, what are you currently doing? And what plans do you have for the rest of 2011? Well, brother, um, I'm involved in lots and lots of study. That, that's the first thing. My, my main thing at the moment is really studying. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan put us on a course of study. And we are studying, once again, the fundamental principles and teachings of the nation of Islam. Message to the black man, supreme wisdom, our saviors arrived, how to eat to live. All of these beautiful, life-giving teachings are once again on our radar screen and we are studying. We are also studying Dianetics because there are other, even though one is qualified as an auditor, there are other elements that take us deeper into the study in order that when we apply the therapy uh, to our people, we can become very expert in alleviating some of the problems that we suffer from of a mental and also psychosomatic or physical nature and so that's my main focus at the present time is study and um, <clears throat> I'm hoping uh, very soon to be part of a rebuilding process for the nation of Islam community primarily based in West London uh, we're working on some ideas now to really start to put that community back on the map because uh, there has been a lot of inactivity for a while and our people are dying brother and so we cannot afford to remain inactive or quiet when it comes to the work the primary work which is the resurrection of the dead if we're not doing that work we could be praying, we could be fasting we could be paying the poor rate we're doing all of that but in reality I heard the Honorable Louis Farrakhan say that you, it makes you good when you do all of those things but you are in effect good for nothing if you're not raising the dead to life so we must uh, do that work I'm also working on uh, producing a much greater online presence for myself at the present time. Uh, I, I have to do that because um, the enemy really does not want uh, myself and my family to eat. And so I'm really trying to find a way uh, uh, by creating a much greater online presence to, to alleviate some of the um, problems that I have as an individual in terms of just... Uh, uh, making a living and making sure that in terms of my entertainment bookings and my speaking engagements uh, these things that people sometimes uh, want me to do and want to give some re remunerations for that that I can uh, enhance that and, and take it on to the next level so that's really my focus I've got some uh, bookings already that's taken me all the way into October of this year but still not enough I still need more bookings I still need more work and I'm constantly trying to find ways to um, enhance my, uh, my ability to take care of my family uh, whilst at the same time uh, making my focus the teachings and the work of the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farber. Yes, thank you brother. That leads beautifully into my last question which is how can you be contacted by those who would like, to, like you to speak or perform edutainment at their event? Uh, my contact is very, very easy. Uh, that's Leo Muhammad at sky.com um, or Claudia Muhammad at sky.com. Uh, you can contact me on either of those email addresses. And then if you need further um, contact, then we can take it from there. Once we communicate via email, then I can always provide you with uh, some other form of contact detail in terms of postal address and um, telephone and so on and so forth but initially uh, you can contact me by using the email address leomohammed at sky.com okay and I, again brother I want to thank you very very much it's been a great honor and a great pleasure to put to you these questions that you beautifully answered and I, I hope and pray and I know that our people will get much, much knowledge and information from the answers that you've given to these questions. So look out for our brother Leo Muhammad. You will see much, much more of him. We are planning to put more 
um, historic film clips of him up on Respect for Life Films channel on YouTube. Also, we do have some edutainment um, that we have put up and are planning to put up more on another channel called El Muhammad Edutainment on uh, YouTube also. So thank you very, very much, my brother, and inshallah, we will speak again very, very soon. Thank you, uh, my beloved brother, and uh, it's been for me a great honor, tremendous honor, uh, and uh, the questions that you asked um, were really thought-provoking, uh, very, very deep, uh, very um, interesting questions that really forces one to, you know, look at the issues that have been, that are under discussion, to try to pull out of those um, questions the appropriate answer that would be of benefit to somebody who is listening. So I do hope and pray that the people who listen are able to extract uh, some benefit. And I pray that Allah will forgive me for any mistakes that I may have made. Uh, and uh, the mistakes that I did make are all mine. They really have no reflection on the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad or the guidance and uh, leadership of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I am a student and I'm very proud to be a student and I'm continuously growing and learning and I pray that Allah will really um, bless all of us with the light of understanding and allow us to see the hereafter with our children. This is my desire, this is my aim and my objective and uh, I intend, if it be the will of Allah, uh, to die on my post. I have no intention of turning around from that which I've been given free of cost uh, by, the, by Master Fraud Muhammad, God in person and his servant the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And <clears throat> this is my life. And I pray, Brother Miles, that um, any time you have a question or you have anything, if you have any interview that you would like to conduct, feel, please feel free to contact myself so that we can um, do this more, so that our people can continue to benefit from that which we've been given. Because it's no good having something of such tremendous value and not being prepared to share it with our people. Uh, uh, we, don't, we don't know who's listening, but we know that some brother, some sister, somewhere may be absolutely having their lives transformed. Not because of we who are individuals, but because of the light, life and energy contained, contained within the Word of God. That's what we want to do. We want to get that Word into the hearts and minds of our people because this process that we've been talking about here it's a battle for hearts and minds Allah wants your heart and mind Satan wants your heart and mind and ultimately we must make our representation so strong that the people actually have a choice because right now for most people it seems like there's no choice Satan just running things he controls the media, he controls <coughs> the uh, resources, he controls the wealth, he controls everything that most people desire uh, and most people need just to, just to live. And so it's very difficult for people. We must give them an alternative. We must do what God says that we must do in order to show the people that there is an alternative to this madness that now passes his life. And so, brother, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. And as I said, I pray that uh, Allah will continue to bless you and your family to keep up that good work, brother, because what you're doing is it's invaluable. May Allah bless you. I greet all of you in peace. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum salam, sir.